Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, being to Luke McKeel and Jessica Ann about Echo 3, premiering globally on Apple TV Plus November 23rd. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Luke, you know, one of my favorite things about this series is, and I can't wait for people to see it, is this balance and combination of these like slow burn moments, but also these like high octane edge of your seats moments. And I think I really enjoyed that. Do you notice that immediately when you're reading the script for this, or do you only start noticing it when you're actually going in and starting filming certain scenes? Um, I mean, some of the uh, obvious when you read the script, but then others were not. Um, and you realize that a lot of the the magic was going to happen when it came off the page and you involved, you know, special effects and soldiers and helicopters and, you know, explosive moments, which were often choreographed, you know, by on the weeks before we arrived on set. And then when we arrived, we'd see, you know, a rehearsal of it and go, wow, OK, well, that's what we have yeah. to learn. That's what we have to do. And then, you know, you, you see it in its entirety and you think, wow, this is really impressive. But why, what I liked about your observation is that, there's equal amounts of both. There's very, yeah. you know, character-driven storylines where there is no, there is no, you know, explosions and guns or whatever else. It's just about the characters. But then you see these characters then dropped into very, you know, dynamic moments throughout the story, which um, which makes for interesting viewing. I would say. Absolutely. Mikhail, my question for you specifically is whether you've been working on a movie set one time or thousands of times, I feel like there's always going to be learning experiences. I feel like you're always going to learn something. Your character specifically in Echo 3, you know, there's a lot of kind of situations, whether he's on a helicopter, whether he's looking at a tracking device on a computer. What were some learning experiences for you specifically working on Echo 3? Oh, my God. Well, um, <laughs> getting out of that helicopter, roping down... <laughs> was was a learning experience <laughs> definitely it was really hard um but uh i think what was exciting about the way we shot the show is that um i felt like very much kept on my toes all the time you know of course we had scripts but um our showrunner and writer mark ball uh, who also directed a, a bunch of episodes was never afraid to to adjust if he felt it was necessary. And that was something that um, I definitely had to adjust to in the beginning. Yep. But um, but it is an exciting, it makes the process very exciting, of course. Jessica, Amber, I love this dynamic and, you know, a lot of tension early on where there's like this push and pull and this tension, these conversations with her brother and her newly, you know, husband and everything. What's that like kind of seeing that in the script and then going and actually seeing it transform on screen? Because I find that you did such an amazing job with that because there is that kind of back and forth tension, whether she's on her brother's side or her husband's side. What was that like for you from an acting perspective? It was great. Uh, from an acting perspective, it gave me the opportunity to um, let my performance go wherever it needed to go. I did not feel confined into a trope or, you know, the way that you might expect a damsel in distress to behave. I felt the script supported a larger type of performance and a stronger type of performance, which you don't read those opportunities very often. I certainly haven't. Um, um, so I found it uh, very easy to bring those qualities because they're always there for all of us. And not many filmmakers give you the opportunity to show those aspects of yeah. characters most of the time, but we were certainly um, encouraged to do so. Absolutely. No, very well said. Luke, you're a storyteller. That's what you do. Is one of your favorite things about being a storyteller, being able to dive into all these different worlds, but also playing all these different characters, like Echo 3 specifically? Is that the best part about it? Um, that's the only thing. I. That's why I do what I do. Yeah, you tell a story, and you hope that you can move people and and make them think about stuff they may not have thought about before. Um, it's interesting as a storyteller to find subject matter that hasn't been done or characters that are, you know, multi layered, so you really can you know discover something new. But you know, telling a story and 
whether it's to a kid or to an audience or to a viewing public on, on screen, <clears throat> you know, if you can move someone with, with your story or you can take someone along with you on the journey, mm -hmm. um, it's a wonderful business. It's a, I feel very lucky to do what I do for a living. I mean, I, I entertain, but I do it through telling stories and in, in inhabiting somebody else's life and, and journey and voice and whatever else the, the character encompasses. But uh, is you know, we're, we're really lucky to do what we do. Aren't yeah, we? absolutely. Yeah, Mikhail, like it's so dynamic too. Like you're one of my favorite movies of all time, The Invitation, all these complex kind of worlds, right, as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I completely agree with Luke. <laughs> yeah. This is what we do. And, and hopefully we can move people. And I also think that people are paying us for it amazing yeah. no absolutely dream. uh first three <laughs> episodes are premiering on apple tv plus november 23rd that is echo three thank you all for your time it was so great chatting with you thank you thank, thank you. you thank you for tuning in to pop turnative make sure to check out our past episodes of pop turnative on youtube be sure to like pop turnative on facebook and follow us on twitter This has been an Autograph Communications production.